During the reign of the Egyptian Emperor Ptolemy Philadelphus, Simeon was chosen as one of the famous seventy, to whom was entrusted the task of translating the Bible from Hebrew into Greek, the Septuagint. Simeon was performing his task conscientiously, but in the process of translating the book of the prophet Isaiah he came upon the prophecy, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, Isaiah 7 verse 14. He became confused and took a knife to remove the word, virgin, and replace it with the words young woman, and thus to translate it into Greek. At that moment, however, an angel of God appeared to Simeon and restrained him from his intention, explaining to him that the prophecy is true, that it was correctly written. The messenger of God also said that Simeon would become convinced of it personally, for according to the will of God, he would not die until he saw the Messiah born of the Virgin. The righteous Simeon rejoiced to hear such a voice from heaven, left the prophecy unchanged and thanked God, who made him worthy to live and see the promised one. When the young child Jesus was presented in the temple in Jerusalem by the Virgin Mary, the Spirit of God revealed this to Simeon, who was very old and as white as a swan. Simeon quickly entered the temple and there recognized both the virgin and the young child by the light that shone around their heads like a halo. The joyful Simeon took Christ into his hands and prayed to God to release him from this life. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Luke 2 verses 29 to 30. Anna the prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, was also there. She too recognized the Messiah and she proclaimed him to the people. At that time Anna was 84 years old. Saint Simeon died shortly thereafter. The righteous elder Simeon is considered a protector of young children. How great a glory in heaven was attained by Saint Simeon the God Receiver, who held the Savior of the world in his hands. The following incident, as related in the life of Saint Peter the Athenite, June 12th, clearly shows this. As a commander during a battle, Peter was enslaved, chained and cast into prison in the town of Samara on the shores of the Euphrates River. Languishing in prison for a long time, Peter begged Saint Nicholas with tears to pray to God for him, that he might be freed from prison, vowing that he would completely dedicate himself to God. Saint Nicholas appeared to him in a dream, saying that although he had prayed to God for him, God was delaying his deliverance because Peter, had earlier made a similar vow to God and had not keep it. And Saint Nicholas further counseled Peter that he ought to pray to Saint Simeon the God Receiver, who is very mighty before God and stands close to the throne of God, together with the All-Holy Virgin and Saint John the Forerunner. Peter heeded the counsel of Saint Nicholas and proceeded to pray to Saint Simeon. Again Saint Nicholas appeared to him with Saint Simeon, not in a dream but in reality. Peter saw Simeon, glorious in appearance, with light shining from his countenance. He was attired in the vestments of an Old Testament priest and bore a golden staff in his hand. Saint Simeon said to Peter, Do you want to fulfill the vow and become a monk? To this Peter replied, Yes, Master, with God's help. Simeon then touched Peter's chains with his staff, and the chains melted like wax. Opening the doors of the dungeon, the saint led Peter from prison 